Vision science is a field where all research is focused on our most precious sense, vision, and we study it from the cornea to the visual cortex. So what are our students doing? On the front end, they're using the cornea to investigate mechanisms for vascular formation and transplant rejection. Our students are also trying to study why the prevalence of nearsightedness is on the rise and how to control it. And they're investigating a generation of new intraocular lenses that aim to restore focusing ability in the elderly. Going even deeper, we have students using functional MRI to understand where and how the visual cortex mediates attention. We have students who are generating computer models that simulate how millions of neurons interact in the brain to process visual information. And if you're interested in translating this work to the clinic, there's no better place than at Berkeley because the hub of the Vision Science Graduate Group is the UC Berkeley School of Optometry, which is ranked number one in optometric training and research. With just one year of required coursework, I was able to join the lab of my choice and jump right into a research project that allowed me to use my knowledge and passion for optics and engineering in order to design and build a new system for eye tracking. The Berkeley Vision Science program is proof that you don't have to sacrifice excellence in order to have a warm and supportive environment. There's such a broad uh, spectrum of research interests that go from very applied things that are clinically relevant to patients with low vision and vision impairment to very theoretical work that's studying models of the brain and the visual system. The research that we do in the lab, using the cornea as a model to study blood and lymphatic vessels, has a direct impact in preventing blindness. But our result goes well beyond the eye. Actually, did you know that most of the anti-cancer drugs on the market right now derive from studies that has been done in the cornea? I'm using fMRI to probe human vision in, uh, and cortical models of vision, trying to understand how uh, the brain perceives images. Here, we hope to create predictive models of human vision and eventually be able to create future brain-machine interfaces. Students that complete their training here have lots of opportunities on graduation. We have students that are going into high-level positions in industry, from Samsung and Adobe to Novartis and Allergan. We have students going to academic positions at top institutions. And some students choose to form startups locally in the Bay Area, which is a hotbed of biomedical research. So when I graduated in 2007, I then did a postdoc also at Cal in neurobiology in Frank Werblin's department. There I learned various aspects of electrical engineering and how it applies to vision and retinal information processing. After my postdoc, which was four years long, I then wanted to pursue starting up my own venture. Here we're at Spiral Devices and our goal is to develop gene delivery devices that will allow for other researchers to do their own explorations into the genome, into developing therapies for degenerative diseases or other sorts of diseases. We're particularly interested in neurodegeneration. There's still a dialogue that goes on between me and my past professors and other students that has really helped me to expand my scientific background into a startup company environment. Here in Silicon Valley, there are companies like Intel, Apple, Nvidia, Samsung. All of these companies have projects to create stunning imagery. And the way that they create that imagery is through understanding the principles of vision and then applying them in their engineering efforts. One of the ways that they do that is by interacting with the vision science department and finding out what types of changes are going to be perceptible and what's not. I graduated from the vision science program in 1997 and now I'm an associate professor here at Cal as well as the University of California San Francisco Proctor Foundation. Every day when I go to work I'm able to be a clinician, a scientist, and a teacher. 
So I'm often asked, why should I study vision research rather than do the same research in a more conventional department like psychology or computer science or cell and molecular biology? Well, vision science faculty represent a more modern model of how a faculty is formed. Conventional departments form a faculty who have the same training but apply them in different areas. Vision science, on the other hand, have a faculty that come from a diverse range of backgrounds but all focus on one thing, our visual system. So this diversity makes for a stimulating intellectual environment. And there's no better environment than at Berkeley because we attract world-class researchers in all the relevant areas, from optics, optometry, genetics, immunology, cell and molecular biology, psychology, bioengineering, and neuroscience. And we admit students from all of these backgrounds. So look for yourself. Explore our faculty webpages and see what interests you. Better yet, come and visit the Berkeley campus where we'd be happy to show you around.